My name is Dr. Raj K and today we are going to solve a little ECG riddle together. Now, here's a quick refresher. In the classic study, the heart muscle dies all the way through. That is what we call the transmural infarct. The injury changes how current flows in the myocardium. The result, an upward shift in the ST segment. Okay, let's start with the basics. The heart has two major coronary arteries. The first one is right coronary artery or RCA and the second one is left coronary artery or the LCA. Now the LCA divides almost immediately into two main branches. One is left anterior descending artery or the LAD which run along the front of the heart and the other one is left circumflex artery or the LCX which travels along the left side and the back. Each of these arteries supplies a specific part of the heart muscles and when one of them is getting blocked the specific part of the heart get damaged and we see the ST segment elevation on the leads associated with those parts and later in the angiography we confirm which artery got blocked. Let's go step by step. First, the RCA or the right coronary artery. Now, if the RCA is blocked, we see ST segment elevation in lead 2, 3 and AVF. This tells us that the inferior wall of the heart is getting affected because right coronary artery supply blood to the inferior wall of the heart. Now, on the angiography, the RCA blockage is shown as a narrowed or completely occluded vessels running along the right side of the heart. Next, the LAD or the widow maker. A blockage here leads to ST segment elevation in V1 to V4. These are the precordial leads and which indicate the anterior wall infraction. On the angiography, the LED blockage appears along the front descending branch. And now finally the LCX. The blockage here produces ST segment elevation in lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6, the lateral side of the heart and the back. This corresponds to the lateral wall of the heart. On the angiography, the LCX blockage is seen along the left atrioventricular groove here now a quick pause think about it if leads 2 3 and avf are elevated which artery is likely getting blocked yes it's the right coronary artery when we see st segment elevation in the ecg we rule out it as st segment elevation mi or the st segment elevation myocardial infarction but to rule out which wall is getting affected, we also need to bring in 2D echo. On the echo, when the artery is blocked and the part of heart that supplies cannot contract properly, this appears as hypokinesia, meaning there is weak movement, or there will be akinesia, meaning there is no movement, or dyskinesia, meaning abnormal movement of the cardiac muscles. For example, if there is RCA blockage, you can see inferior wall hypokinesia or akinesia on the 2D echo. If there is LAD block, there will be anterior wall hypokinesia and if LCX blockage, obviously the lateral wall hypokinesia. Now here is a question for you. If the anterior wall isn't moving well on echo, which artery got blocked? Yes, of course, the LAD. Now we have three tools giving us complementary information. First the ECG which suggests which artery is blocked. Second there is 2D echo which show which wall is affected and third there is angiography which confirm the exact location of the block. Each test provides us a critical piece of puzzle. Together, they allow for an accurate diagnosis and targeted treatment. Remember, ST segment elevation is not just a waveform. It's a marker of which artery is blocked and which wall is affected. Read the ECG carefully and it tells you exactly where the problem is. That's it for this segment. Understand the artery, check the ECG, confirm with the echo and finally see it on angiography. My name is Dr. Raj K and this is the CG Kid Portal.